What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, may you test the spirits, a.k.a. take the words and visuals back to prayer with God, as there are many Decepticons running around in these end times sent from the enemy, had a strong, close, and personal relationship with God. Good, great, and awesome. All right, everybody, June 18th, 2024, and a good old Tuesday word from the Lord here. He put it on me to tell you all this. A lot of people are worrying about things they don't need to. I've been asked a lot of different questions. What about this crash? What about that, this, and this event here, and this natural disaster there? The main thing, what about the three days of darkness? Has God spoken to you about the three days of darkness? No, he has not. So the title of this video is Stop Worrying About the Three Days of Darkness. And these wars and missiles and all these things that even if the Lord has given you a dream about, it's not for you to worry about. If you are supposed to leave a place, God has grace and mercy to allow you the time to get out. As far as these missiles and whatnot, those missiles are popsicle sticks to the Lord. He's the creator of the universe, ladies and gentlemen. What he worried about that for? So if he bigger than anything and everything, then what you worried about? What you worried about? Stop watching all these people that's getting y'all scared and so forth because you can have dreams off of fear too. God is not the spirit of fear, nor is he the author of confusion. What we got to be scared for is the body of Christ. What we got to be scared for? Lean not on your own understanding. That's one point God gave me. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Faith. Your faith grants you access to any and everything God has for you. Psalm 91. Protection. You're good. You're under God. You're part of the body. You have nothing to worry about. Okay? Stop overthinking about three days of darkness. Stop watching all these different people that ain't even hearing from the Lord. Or if they, you know, got dreams and so forth. Not everybody is supposed to be getting on sharing stuff because they don't know how to deliver messages properly. They may not be messengers. They may, you know, if you personally need to be prepared for something, God will get you on the right direction. He will give you the time to do right. He's merciful. He's fair. He gives grace. Do you understand? All these questions that people ask are questions you don't need to be worried about. I don't wake up and ask God these things. Why? Because it don't matter. I serve him. You know, there's been times where big storms were supposed to come in. Guess what? Didn't hit us. Why? Because I'm one of the individuals that's here. God didn't let it hit simply because his children are in certain areas. It goes around them. That's how much grace and mercy he got. Last year, remember I told y'all it had flooded a little bit. And it wasn't even to the degree what it could have been where I was. He waited for me to finish all the messages. Thunder rumbling, lightning flashing, little sprinkles, wind. Soon as I said, peace and blessings, I will catch y'all in the next one. Boom, here it come. <laughs> but I was in the house. Grace and mercy. God takes care of his children. Listen, Old Testament father. He ain't changed, but you know he ain't play back then. He still don't play. You understand? But he's not. He wants the best for all his children. He will chastise. He will correct. But the way people make him come off is if that's all he is. Some people make him come off as he's only butterflies and rainbows. No, he's both. And according to how you're walking and how you're moving is what you're going to get. Correction in itself is not bad, but stop worrying about these events and these things that you have no control over. And if God is telling you to intercede and pray, do it. The body of Christ can be scared of everything. I told y'all this in a prior message that the Lord had given me about Paul, the serpent, shake it off into the fire, shake off the devil into the fire. That's his end anyway, the lake of fire. Come on now. That's symbolic in itself, actually, that Paul scripture, if you really think about it. Stop moving out of fear. 
right? Another thing, if God tells you to go, don't be like individuals and turn around and turn the pillars of salt. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't do that. If he tells you to go, go. Capital G, capital O, go. You need to be moving by faith. Yeah, it ain't easy. Ain't nobody said it was going to be easy. But all these other outside factors that the world worries about, you shouldn't be. Because God is greater than anything and everything. This ain't nothing to him. So it shouldn't be nothing for you to worry about. The Lord want me to get on here and tell y'all, stop all of that. Focus on what he's telling you you need to do to better your relationship. All this other stuff don't mean nothing. You all right? You under the Lord. All right? So stop all that tripping and dipping. Peace and blessings, and I will catch y'all in the next one.